Sorry it's taken me so long to post an update for my compost heated greenhouse. I finally got a decent compost pile built and have collected some results. To remind you, the compost chamber is adjacent to the greenhouse. My goal is to transfer heat from the hot compost pile into the greenhouse without getting excess humidity or gases from the compost. Here's a view of the compost chamber. It's simply a wood box, about four feet on each side, made out of light one by three inch lumber. The box is lined by chicken wire. At the base, I have two heavy duty plastic pans to secure the compost. Here's a view of the fully covered compost chamber. I insulate the compost chamber with one inch foam board and cover it with greenhouse plastic that I then secure with uh, magnets. I use rigid aluminum dryer duct as a heat exchanger. So cool air is drawn from the floor of the greenhouse. It enters the pipe where it's heated by the hot compost, then it emerges uh, warmer from the outlet pipe at the top. I ran a simple field test on a typical March morning, day, uh, morning here in Denver, Colorado. The outside air at 7 a.m. was 35.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The air inside the greenhouse was much warmer, 46.2 degrees Fahrenheit. When I was testing the greenhouse's baseline performance before I installed the compost, the greenhouse was typically three to six degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the outside. After I installed the compost, the greenhouse was, was fully 11 degrees warmer than the outside. I also measured the temperature on the uh, upper outlet and it was nearly 63 degrees Fahrenheit or nearly 17 degrees warmer than the inlet air. This is an impressive amount of heating. It shows that there's a very significant natural convection through the heat exchanger. I'm getting significant greenhouse warming over the baseline without pushing air through the heat exchanger with a fan. In other words, this solution works quite well in a purely passive mode. I did install a duct fan and I let it run for uh, 15 minutes and it's a small duct fan. It's only a 12 watt fan. Uh, the outlet temperature stabilized at 55.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that you can run a fan for an extended period of time and still get nearly 10 degrees of heating of the air as it passes through that heat exchanger. If you run a fan like that, it'll keep uh, the air inside the greenhouse moving around and it keeps the cold air from collecting on the floor of the greenhouse and uh, kill, killing your plants. With all the panic over coronavirus and scenes of people uh, panic buying and emptying uh, store shelves, it really brings the need uh, for self-reliant gardening back to the forefront, especially for people like me who live in cold climates. It's really difficult to keep a greenhouse above freezing. And doing that with uh, passive heating is even harder. So I think these compost heating results are really impressive. Um, I'm heating my, heating my greenhouse by more than uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit through purely natural convection through the compost heat exchanger without needing to run a fan at all. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and I'd, I'd really like to hear um, in the comments of people who've tried this and uh, um, people who are inspired to try this method. I think it's of all the passive heating methods. I think it's one of my, one of my favorites. Um, so with that, I'll end the video. Thanks.